Hello, we have our final Hearth and Home Spotlight from Valheim before the update comes out. This one is focusing on weapons. They're saying that all of the weapons have been rebalanced, but there are some that have bigger changes. Before we get into the details, look at this two-handed axe on the back of the player here. What is that material? I mean, I don't play with a two-handed axe typically, so I'm not as familiar with them, but I don't recall seeing any weapons made out of any kind of material like that. I think that that's a little sneak peek of some kind of new material that we're going to be getting in the game. It almost looks magical, like it could be glowing a little bit. What do you think that is? Let me know down below. So the first one that they talk about is the two-handed X. They say it has a bit of a faster wind-up and I'm happy about that. That's one of the main reasons that I haven't used a two-handed X because it takes so long that while you're winding up you just get attacked by things and killed. And it will have increased stagger damage and cleaving capabilities. So with its fast knockback alternative attack, they're saying that this is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I gotta say that the thing that most people have told me that they've liked about this type of weapon is the knockback attack. For when you're surrounded by enemies, it can knock them back enough to give you a chance to take a step back and get your stamina up. So I'll definitely give this one a try now, but it's still going to be slow and heavy, so you gotta account for that. They've made some tweaks to the bow so that it'll be less OP. I'm sure there's going to be mixed reviews on that. Although, honestly, I think it was kind of inevitable because the bow really was OP. They've also changed the draw speed so that you cannot instantly draw the bow back, which makes sense. That doesn't happen in real life. One of the things that I really like that they're saying they've done with the changes with the bow is that they've decreased the amount of stamina that it takes to continue holding the bow once it's drawn. This was ticking your stamina down way too fast before. So often in the time that it took you to aim, you would run out of stamina and then end up being attacked or have to completely start over again. That was definitely needed. So just a few little details given here. And this is the last one. But they do note there's going to be one more slightly different video before the update. will be interesting to see what that is. In the meantime, check out one of these. And happy gaming!